is more specific about pediatrics. And the, the first one is about advanced well-being of individual community through medical leave. So when you talk about advanced well-being, I'm talking about total well-being. Remember last lesson we learned total well-being. Total well-being is what? Psychological well-being, right? And the emotional well-being, physical well-being, financial well-being. You, you need money to eat, to live, right? And relational well-being, and spiritual well-being. So, well-being covers many areas, not just happiness. Happiness is just one of the one of the area, one dimension of well-being, right? and not just for individual, but also for community. Right? Because. I just think one day I put on Facebook a statement like this, I said, I said, fish is made for water, right? And, and, and fish would not be very happy, I mean, even the water I could flop, flop, and they die, right? And the birds are made for the sky, when the birds will fly, right? If you put a, put a bird in a cage, you know, they cannot be really happy. Now, human beings are made for what? Can you complete the sentence for me? Human beings are fish are made for what? Huh? Interaction. What? Interaction. 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 To interact with each other. People are made, for, we are made for, for love, right? Oh. <laughs> we are made for love, right? We are, we are made to love God and love others. We are made for each other, right? It's actually uh, relational. And we, we can't... Uh, 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 your name, Richard? Charles. Charles. Charles said that he, he's retired now. He, you know, he wants to be connected. Well, we all want to be connected with people. Nobody can survive. Nobody can survive without meaningful connection. You know, not just get together to eat, okay? Sure, eating is a good, good thing, but, but to be connected in a, at a deeper level, like a deeper level, deeper alternative door, right? I mean, we are made for each other. We are made for loving each other, not, not fighting each other, right? And uh, so if we can practice that and teach other people to practice that, the world will be a better place, right? We are made for love, not for hate. Now, the, the second point is that we have to learn how to flourish in spite of fate, circumstances, and human foibles. Now, in, in positive psychology, they teach you that these are the avenues you need to pursue in order to flourish. Okay? We have to talk about positive emotion, engagement, active engagement life. Parameter and the meaning, uh, accomplishment, and relational relationships. Or you, you put those five things, then you, you'll be able to flourish. To, to the Marcus Cinnamon's view, okay. But that's fine. But the key is that how do you flourish in spite of fate, circumstances, and human weaknesses? Do you know why? Fate often intervenes. Tribulations, temptations, troubles often hit you hard when you are least aware. So it happened. Boom. So it happened. I ruined everything. So that, see, when I worked about it, we recognize that, that they often, that faith can intervene. And change everything. Bad circumstances, economy, downturn, economy can, can, can turn sour on you. The stocks can lose money, right? And also your, your own weaknesses. You know, your personal issues. Everybody has weaknesses. For some people can be temper, some other people can be possessiveness. 
，我加了是，呃，我我，出看 can be can be a power， kindness can be a weakness。Kind of can be a can be a witness because oh you can't discipline a child because they're too kind you can't say no to people because they're too kind so they will be in trouble. I still don't know how. So this, you know, and the, the third point we're trying to do is trying to to help you to develop strength. And then the positive part of psychology say to focus on strength. But I say you need to focus on strength and also try to overcome your weaknesses. Because with all your strength, all your effort, your best intention, your strongest motivation, you can be defeated by one character defect. It should be a tragedy, right? You can be defeated by one character weaknesses, and everybody has an acute heel. Watch out. You are killed here, and don't let that defeat you. Know what is a killer's hill? I know mine, but I will tell you. <laughs> Come on. I will tell you. I'm too shy. <laughs> Can we make a guess? <laughs> uh, I hope we have a killer's hill, all right? And then you, you, you need to watch out. You know. You'll be you you'll be defeated sooner or later. That's scary, right? Yeah. And the the other thing that the meaningful living project is to help you to discover and rediscover your passion for living, right? Because somewhere along the way, you can just seem to say, "Oh, what a point! You know, you know life is so burdensome. I'm going to die anyway." So somewhere along the way, you lose your passion, right? Now, like marriage, same thing, right? Right? Somewhere along the way, now these two are love words, they love each other, okay? <laughs> but, but like 30 years from now, got gray hair, you know, and, and, and get, <laughs> get a lot of children, you know, and, you know, 30 years, 40 years, so my wife and I have been married how many how many years now? Forty five. Forty five, you know. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> so we're, we're, we're still okay. Yeah. We're still okay. <laughs> Surviving. <laughs> we still, still care with each other, right? But 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 the key is how to how to keep the love each other going, right? Then you're gonna share with us your secret then. <laughs> how do you guys do that? Oh that's the this for the another time. <laughs> <laughs> But, but, uh, but the key is that uh, how, how to, uh, for example, after you got, after you, uh, you know, you got a diagnosis, that, 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 like, like Steve Jobs, oh, you're dying of cancer, you're three months to live, or, or uh, Jack, Jack London, right? You know, but Jack London and Steve still keep on going, right? They did not l let cancer stop them from living, right? Because they still, they still feel passionate about what they're doing. They did not let death stop them on the track. Stop them from pursuing a life that's exciting to them. Right? So the key is how to figure out how to, and how to keep your passion growing through life, through pain. <laughs>